guys, today I got my uh, Supreme 2014 Fall Winter video. I'm doing it sort of late because I've just been working a bunch lately. And um, it's really much, pretty much, I'm just like spreading things out to do the video today. Um, first off, um, my overall thoughts of the season so far is like nothing crazy. I really, this is last preview. I think I had a bunch more pictures. This preview is pretty much just like kind of two things in every category, really. I don't really see much. It's, freaking me out and then I always say well we're probably gonna get a bunch of crazy collabs and then probably only get like one or two but the first thing that I saw that was pretty cool was the champion uh, army jacket it's got, it's got like army came on the sides and the hood and it's reversible and that's a pretty cool jacket I live in Florida I don't get many um, jackets I have like like a small box logo hoodie and like the, the TNF flags pullover and that's pretty much it because I really don't like doesn't get hot enough to wear jackets. But I am going to be going to New York in October for the Comic Con. For just going to all the shops, going to Supreme. So I might get one of these hoodies just to go Supreme. Or I might buy from Supreme in October. First, so I'll be there for like four days. So if you're in New York or something, you skateboard, you want to hang out, let's go LES and go skate or something. And that's the first jacket. I think it's a pretty cool jacket. I've never been a fan of Champion stuff. I thought it all was just kind of plain, but this is just my style, like the gray. It's the camo on the sides, and that looks classic. Next thing we have up is I've been looking to get um, kind of like an army or this olive um, long sleeve kind of thing for a while. They've always been, um, I don't know, they just haven't been putting out like this, the army kind of olive green one like, like this. Um, and when it does come out, it has a little bit more extra things on it where the price is like 200 plus. So if I get this one for a nice price, I'd get it. On the back, it says army kind of like that uh, long sleeve kind of armies jacket you see a lot of people wear like in like the 70s. I think this one is just kind of like a long sleeve, like thinner kind of shirt that you can wear anytime. And then of course we got the Supreme 3M uh, on the hood. This is kind of cool. It's going with those 3M stickers that came out, which I'm surprised they haven't thought of that before. I saw those stickers and I was like, yeah, they should have done that before. I never thought about that. But I like the colors they got this season. I like the maroon and the green. Um, I can't, the flags one is a little bit too crazy for me, but you know, I might go for like the, the, the hunter green or whatever you want to call it jacket. Pretty much if I don't get the champions, I'd probably get that one. And then of course they got the box logo. It's kind of weak. Um, I don't really like the monochromatic thing or whatever. It's like the same you know, as the, the logo is the same as the shirt. Um, I still don't have a box logo. Um, I want one just because it's like the supreme thing, you know, a box logo hoodie. But I just, I feel kind of, I don't know, it's, I'm not that hyped on box leather hoodies, plus I live in Florida, but if I do, do do it, I'd probably just go for the gray with the red, or this the all black. The flag is like the new thing this uh, this um, pre-season, can't talk, but I don't really like the flags thing at all. And then here's pretty much the only other long sleeve shirt I've liked, except for the army one. This is kind of this paisley kind of combo, kind of a crazy shirt. Um, I like the blue one. I'm not sure if I could pull it off, but that's something I'm just keeping my eye on. Just something to pull out the, the long sleeve shirt category. And then we got the jerseys, of course. They got a few jerseys. I thought they were all a bit too weird and none of them were my style, but I like this one with the, the China, China Dragon on it and uh, the football jersey. I like the black and the orange. You know, if that's like 100 bucks. I'd probably go for that one. Not a huge jersey person. I feel like you can't really wear them that many times without it being. Like, hey, you ever wash that jersey? And then we got the, I like the desert camo, um, small bo box label pocket tee. I have the army one from uh, last season, which I really like. And the desert camo would be pretty cool to get that one. You don't see the desert camo in uh, Supreme shirts that much. Another pair of camp hats with it. And I would not wear a desert camo camp hat with that. It would be kind of ridiculous. And here seems to be the shirt that everyone's going crazy for over for some reason. I like it. I think it's cool. KRS-1. Um, it's not a $100 shirt. It's not like a $70 shirt. But if I get it for retail, I definitely get it. I wish they would put out that Nas uh, photo tee that they kind of like circulating like a year or two years ago. And then here we got the small box logo tee. I have um, one that's black from last season. And just something to keep your eyes on. I might get another one if it's uh, a small drop or nothing crazy go for like the olive or the maroon color. And those are pretty much all like the clothing and shirts. Now these are just like the hats. Uh, I haven't really seen anything that was that crazy with the hats. Um, I kind of like this tweed one, like the one the 
the blue kind of tweed because it's a little bit different, you know. Um, you don't really see that many kind of tweed hats like that. And then we got the uh, camp box logo and like the desert camo. I go for that one just with the red box logo right there. I already have the knee or the army one with the stars. I think last season. And then just the beanie. It's a beanie to pull something out. You know, maybe if I'm like in New York or going to New York, I get this if it drops to four. Kind of that monochromatic kind of same kind of a color. I go for black, you know, classic. Everything I wear is pretty much black. I just think it looks the best. I don't really like bright colors and weird. And that's pretty much all like the hats. And then the accessories, which I always like. It's like one of the first things I always go for is when they drop their season, just look at their accessories and kind of get the theme of the season. We got these uh, fuck em coasters. Um, I got wood uh, furniture everywhere, so I always use coasters. You know, put those circles or whatever the fuck you call them on the on the wood if you ever watch Kirby Enthusiasm there's a cr pretty good episode about uh, you disrespecting wood or whatever they called it that's a cool show and then we got this uh, kind of carbinger like long like I think it's like a pill stash or something like that I always into like the keychains I like that kind of stuff I have a bunch of keychains I don't know if you can see them right there I always collect the keychains keeping with that theme got like AR-15 MM-16 um, bottle opener in red and black. I think that's cool. I'd definitely get that. I'm guessing it's going to be around like 15 or 16 bucks. People are going to freak out about it. 15 bucks for a keychain? Oh my god. Then we got the puffy little um, Supreme keychains. Back in the day when I was like, I was like I don't even know, like 8 years old going to the department stores with my mom. I always like take like the Nautica ones off the shirts and I feel like badass and I just like squeeze them. I don't know. I always steal them. And then uh, I think that's kind of, you know, we'll see how much those are. I just get them to kind of collect it. And then we got a Supreme Pocket Knife. Um, that's another thing I'm just keeping my eye on. Like, I'm not gonna go crazy over it, but it's a small drop or it's not too crazy on the price. I get it, you know. And then this is kind of cool. They've been doing this with other brands, like hundreds. It's a Supreme New Air um, keychain. Once again, it's one of those things I'm not going crazy over, but if, you, if it's on a small drop or it's not that expensive, I definitely get it. This is something I was kind of excited about is a Supreme Toolbox. I think it's 14 inches, so it's not super tiny. But in the back of my car, I always have like a, uh, a skateboard like first aid kit. If you skated back in the day, there was a shorty's first aid kit. I still have that little fish tackle box and I keep everything in there, bushings, washers, I have extras of everything. I have an extra deck in my car. Like, There's no excuses. If anything happens to your skateboard, just go to my trunk, fix it, and keep it on skating. So I just keep it in a duffel right now, but I definitely use this as my little uh, skateboard first aid kit from all my backup stuff. And then I got the Supreme Everlast hand grips. Um, I've been in the boxing for, since like 2000. I did an amateur for a while. Um, if you can see some of my stuff is boxing all over my room. I got like every poster. Um, this is definitely something I would get. The jump rope I made fun of when they released it because you're not going to use the jump rope, but you actually use this just mess around because I think it looks cool. I still want those Everlast gloves that came out and I'm offended when people have those and they still have them in the wrap. Like, come on. Let, let them loose. I don't know why so many people got those and they weren't even in the box. It pisses me off. And then we got this like Supreme Lantern. It's a pretty cool piece. Um, I don't know what I would use it for, but if for some reason I want it, I don't. I just it's one of those like cool items where you just kind of want it, but you really don't. You know you're not going to use it. Once again, all determined from price and like what else is dropping. And then for the seasons, I guess maybe only artists, I guess these could be artist stacks, I'm not sure. It could be like the Bruce Lee kind of license thing or something like that. Uh, this is an original artwork for Supreme because H.G. Geiger is dead, but um, I think he passed away this year. He's the one behind like the Alien, I think he did a lot of the designs for the first Alien movie, which I was obsessed with Alien and stuff like that. I had no, no idea who he was really until like two years ago because he's, he's involved with a lot of Tattooers, they got that kind of uh, their style from him to do the biomax stuff, which I'm not a fan of, but that's where they kind of got the HG Geiger uh, kind of style. I think the decks are cool. These are kind of his more, you know, relaxed designs. He does have a bunch of crazy designs that kind of freak you out. I'm definitely a fan of like the dark art like that. I got the Chapman Brothers right there. Um, pretty much the only kind of dark stuff I got, but yeah, I definitely get these boards if they were available. You know, I'm not gonna freak out. Nothing will really this season I'm going to freak out over if I don't get it. Nothing is a must-have for me. It's just pretty much, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. 
I never go and run and play re resale for stuff, really, unless it's like shoes or something that I really wanted. Yeah, I think the decks are pretty cool this season. I think they're, um, those Mark Flood decks were just a disgrace. It's a waste of time. Alright guys, and that's pretty much the whole season. That's all the stuff that I'm keeping my eye on. My eye on. That's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. I'm um, not crazy on the clothing this season. The accessories I think are kind of cool and we always kind of wait for those collabs to drop like it's Christmas just to have that surprise of something cool happening. There's rumored Nike drops. Like they always do it every season but I think there was dunks or Jordans that were they were going to do. I don't know. I really don't pay attention to all the rumors and stuff. I just let it happen. I don't lurk the forums. Yeah, overall the season's nothing crazy to me, you know, it's when it starts dropping though you kind of get excited and you want the stuff more. So, so far, I just, you know, the season's mediocre, it's okay for me, you know, I like the accessories. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to, you know, what are you guys waiting for to drop? Once again, I'll probably be going to New York, and I am going to New York in October, like, 9th for the Comic Con, and I'll be checking out Supreme and all the shops down there, and like, if anyone lives in New York, wants to skate or something like that. Go to LES, hang out, skate, maybe film some stuff, that'd be awesome, get some New York footage. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys are thinking of, what you guys think of the season, and um, Thursday is going to be a drop. I think I have Thursday off from work, so I'll definitely be able to get, I should, I never want to jinx myself, but I definitely should be able to get all the stuff I want on Thursday. I really haven't been paying attention to what actually dropped, I know some of the stuff, but just open up the web page and see what happens. Alright, see so you guys probably on... Um, Probably next week, I'll probably do the video of all the stuff I pick up on Thursday. Appreciate the support. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Supreme Kilroy. See you guys later.